What's going on, boys and girls? Happy Tuesday evening at 9.34 p.m. to you. So, are you homozygous or heterozygous? I'll wait. I'll give you time to Google what those two words mean. Should probably give you enough time to figure out how to spell them first. Then you can Google them. And then you can come back and you'll know what they mean and you can answer me in the comments section below. Are you homozygous or heterozygous? Oh, and I'm going to use D-Town's theory and see if it works. Just see the title, which you'll see the title when you click on it anyway. So, EDP. EDP, 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 EDP. There, I said EDP, so technically, uh, so technically the title is not clickbait. A uh, little biology homework tonight for my daughter, who is uh, a sophomore in high school right now and uh, basing the level of grade on the level of homework a 10th grader back in my day would have been a 20th or 21st grader you figure that one out so we got the NFL draft coming up very soon uh, we've got spring skills competition coming up this weekend for the Tennessee Volunteers this one area that I have to totally agree with Uncle Lou and I rarely agree with anything he says when it's referring to Tennessee because let's face it Uncle Lou is having uh, I don't know what what should we call it he's having a, a bad case of volitis right now where he's really struggling with the fact that my Tennessee Vols have beat that Georgia Bulldog ass two years in a row well, Uncle Lou, you're old enough to know and to remember that's how it generally goes in this series. It's just that the last 10 or 15 years, you guys have done more winning than losing in this series. But just a little. My point was, the Tennessee Spring Game is this weekend, and we all know it's not a game. Realistically, no spring games are actual games. They are indeed glorified scrimmages. It just so happens that in Tennessee's glorified scrimmage, Butch Jones has thrown in like some skills competitions for the quarterback. He does the Tennessee drill, which is actually the Oklahoma drill. And I don't even know that calling it the Oklahoma drill is necessarily correct because I'm sure someone did it before Oklahoma. Uh, and then there's receiving competitions, you know, stuff like that to try and shake the event up and make it fun. I personally prefer the old way of doing things where you line up an orange team against a white team, divide the team up equally, and play a scrimmage game. Usually in the past, the orange team would almost always win. Kind of like the seniors versus the juniors in Powder Puff. The seniors always win. But it's not like that anymore. Uh, you have to be a uh, scientific genius to figure out how the hell to score a Tennessee spring game. So the best thing to do is not pay any attention at all to the scoreboard if you're going this weekend. And just watch the guys on the field and have a good time. Hopefully the weather will be good and you can go out there and have a good time. And you guys down in Georgia, have a great time at your G-Day too. Uh, you know, it's the one time a year when it's a guaranteed win for the Bulldogs. Have a good one, boys and girls.